with another unboxing of Ryobi One Plus 18 volt endless power hybrid cordless corded hybrid LED work So features of this would be compact, lightweight, blah, blah, blah. Three brightness modes, very handy. Hybrid technology, plug it in where you want. 360 degree, 14.5 watt. Mm, mm, mm. So let's, uh, Let's get inside. Well, um, look, look, there's nothing inside the box. Um, oh, it folds out like that. Oh, okay, yeah, beautiful. Okay. Here's one I prepared earlier. Yes, I've already used it. I had to use it for work. Oh, yes, you can see my uh, lighting in that. Can we get more lighting reflection over there? Yes, we can. Oh, beautiful. Yeah, so this is the Ryobi LED work light. It's funny how it says a different wattage on the box than it actually does on the tool which is interesting. So maybe 14.5 watt when it's running from the battery. Maximum 25.2 watt running from power, I suppose. That's interesting. Made in People's Republic of China, obviously. Everything's made in China. Just have to get used to that. So, Nice little button, work stand, 360 degrees. Look pretty simple, hey? Uh, tensioner on the side there. Plenty of ventilation. You can see straight through that ventilation there. And oddly, this PCB with the LEDs on it, not sure if you're going to be able to see down in there. No, you can't. Not in the camera anyway. Uh, there's just two power cables, uh, red and black, coming up to that PCB. And that's it. There doesn't seem to be any electronics on this board at all. Um, if you can't quite see in there, but no, you can't. Yeah, so there's no electronics on that board bar the LEDs. So all of the electronics are in the side here somewhere. Um, so it does mean that if you get a tiny bit of rain in here, it probably doesn't matter. It doesn't say anywhere on the box whether it's water resistant or not. So I'd treat it as not water resistant. But that's about enough of that. We have a battery, all over it. All right, pretty simple. Just like a traditional Ryobi. Smash it in there all you want. Woohoo. Thank for that. So three power modes, swamping out. Oh yeah. Look, this thing is quite bright. That's pointing up at my face right now and it, it is quite blinding 
So we've got three power modes, so that's full. One down. And the next one down. And you can see it's sort of pulsing goes dimmer and then brighter um, that's in the camera but it is also in real life we'll do it again uh, so that's the camera adjusting so you may see a little dip and then comes back up dip and then comes back up yeah so that's in the electronics in here somewhere so there would be a it is probably PWM holding the button down it goes straight into low power mode so it is um, handy I suppose so hold that down and that goes into the lowest power mode and then one click to go off and if you're in the highest power mode which is this one you can hold the button down and it turns off pretty simple so high medium low off pretty simple features there folks i do have to say that this is quite a rugged unit like everything is built quite solidly it is quite thick plastic it doesn't deform oh even the screen on there wow i'm pushing that with most of my strength in the tip of my thumb there and it's hardly even deflecting. It's definitely plastic. Hang on, I've got something metal here. Quad lock ring. Definitely plastic. But yeah, it is quite solid. And it does have a slight silicon-ish mould section around there. Okay. We'll get this plugged in. So when I bought it, I was concerned that when you used a plug with these silly things on them that often get in the way when you're plugging stuff in, I was concerned that it wouldn't work. But there is a rebated section in there for that exact purpose. Look, it doesn't plug in quite solidly. The pins are very short, it seems. Or maybe the rebate just isn't as long as what it should be. Maybe it's only halfway down that. Yeah, kind of, it feels like it should plug in a little bit more than that. So you may find the cord um, pulls out easily. It's not terrible, but yeah, it is what it is. Obviously, same power modes, exactly the same operation. Yeah, just, just be aware that uh, this may get in the way. It still works. But if your cord doesn't have that safety feature, it may actually work better. No earth pin. I mean... Maybe that's the reason why it doesn't plug in properly. They should just put an earth pen in there so it secures the cord better. Wouldn't that be? Anyway. So that's it, folks. That's the Ryobi LED work light. Enjoy.